and conius epitrochlearis muscle. This anomalous muscle causes an unknown nerve compression at the elbow. The muscle runs between the medial aspect of the olecranon and the medial epicondyle. It is found in about 28% of cadavers. The anconius epitrochlearis muscle should not be confused with the anconius muscle, which is a triangular muscle located on the lateral aspect of the elbow joint. The anconius epitrochlearis muscle should be considered in evaluating patients with cubital tunnel syndrome. The unknown nerve travels through a tunnel of tissue, cubital tunnel, that runs under the medial epicondyle. There are multiple causes of unknown nerve entrapment around the cubital tunnel. All these causes can lead to compression of the unknown nerve, and one of these causes is the anconius epitrochlearis. Other causes of unknown nerve entrapment around the cubital tunnel arcade of struthers. It is different from the ligament of struthers. The ligament of struthers deal with the median nerve compression. If you find a medial bony process in the distal humerus, this might give you a median nerve compression and the compression is at the ligament of struthers. On the other hand, the arcade of struthers is a hiatus in the medial intermuscular septum, and this will pinch the unknown nerve. Another area of compression is the medial intermuscular septum. Another area of compression is the Osborne fascia, or ligament. The unknown nerve can be compressed between the Osborne ligament and the MCL. It can occur from deformity of the elbow, such as cubitus valgus, or the entrapment may occur due to a spare on the medial epicondyle. The treatment of this condition, usually conservative treatment first, surgical excision of the anomalous muscle should be considered in symptomatic patients after failure of conservative treatment. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.